Hello and welcome. My name is Ellie Mulrath and I'm a park program assistant with Sonoma County Regional Parks. Today we will be making some nature paint brushes made with items that we can gather in our yard and neighborhood. In order to make the nature paint brushes, we need to gather a few supplies. So we need to find sticks. Smaller sticks are better, but if you find a nice long stick, you can always break it to make it a little smaller. We will need different types of plants. And we want our plants to have a wide variety of textures. So maybe we have a plant that's a little softer and poofier, like this flower. Maybe we have a plant that's um, still a little soft, but looks kind of spiky. Maybe we have a plant that's very spiky. So a good variety of different kinds of plants. We also are going to need paint. Acrylic or temper paint will work. We are going to need paint trays to hold our paints. We are going to need scissors. And we are going to need paper towels in case it gets a little messy. We also will need string so that we can tie our plants to our sticks. And we are going to need paper so that we can practice using our nature paint brushes. I want to remind everyone that when we are gathering supplies, we don't want to pick things from other people's yards. If you go out in your neighborhood to gather, we want to make sure it's things you find on the ground. But if you're gathering from your own yard, you can feel free to pick things with your parents' permission. All right, let's get started. All right, so we have our different supplies. We have the plants that we've collected. We have the sticks. We have the string. And we're going to create our paint brushes. Something that I've found is really important is that when we tie our plant material onto our sticks, we want to make sure that the plant material is tied kind of lower on the stick so that the the brush material stays kind of stable if we tie it like this towards the end it's going to flop around like crazy when we try to paint so we don't want that to happen so we'll make sure a good part of the stem here of our plant is resting on our stick and we wrap the string around after we wrap it around enough times we are going to tie our string in just a couple of little knots and then we have a paintbrush. Let's make a few more. So I have another stick here that's a little too long. I'm just going to break it in half to make two shorter sticks. And let's try this beautiful flower. So we line up the stem and the stick so that a lot of the stem is next to the stick here. And we just wrap and wrap and wrap so that we have a nice tight connection between the stem and the stick. Once we've wrapped, we're going to tie it up tight. And now we have a different paintbrush. So we've got two so far. Let's make a few more. Now that we have our collection of paintbrushes, it's time to paint. Let's make sure we have our paper towels ready in case it gets a little messy. So just like painting with a regular paintbrush, when we use these nature paintbrushes, we're going to just dip them in the paint. Make sure we get a good amount of paint on that paintbrush, and then we're going to see what it looks like. Each paintbrush should have a different design that it makes on the paper. Remember, because these paint brushes are made out of plants, we are going to be making a picture that's a little more abstract. Okay, we're just kind of trying out to see what might happen with these different paint brushes. So don't worry if it's not turning out exactly how you think it is supposed to look. So now I'm going to dip the pink flower and let's see what kind of impression this pink flower makes. Got some paint on it. Ooh, that looks gorgeous. And then we could sweep it across too if we want to. All right. Now let's try the spiky plant, this rosemary. And I think I'll use a little green for this one. So we've made a beautiful abstract picture using our nature paintbrushes. Let's try one more so we can test out the other paintbrushes. I'm 
excited to see what this bird foot paintbrush is going to look like. So I'll dip it in the blue paint. Ooh, this one's a little harder to dip because it's so, it's so stiff. Now let's see. Got some paint on our little bird foot. It does look almost like a footprint or a track on our paper here. Let's try this one here. And I think I'll use the brown paint for this one. Ooh, we got a lot of paint on our paintbrush. Alright, two more to go. This one's also a little spiky. I wonder how that will turn out on our paper. I mixed the blue and yellow together. Let's see what happens. And last but not least, let's use our big poofy spiky plant. I'm gonna really dip it in the paint here, get a lot on. And we have another abstract picture using nature paintbrushes. As you can see, it's really fun to see how your picture will turn out. You don't have to plan painting anything specific. It's fun to just play around with the different paintbrushes that you made and see what kind of marks they will make on the paper. I think it turned out pretty cool. What do you think? I hope you enjoyed this video. For more ways to engage with Sonoma County Regional Parks, please feel free to visit our website at parks.sonomacounty.ca.gov. I look forward to seeing you in the parks. Bye-bye!